Welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today we are going to learn predictive analysis using Arima, and we are going to do it in mini tab and it's a free sample and uh, time series one. Why it has been named as time series one? Because there are many other models like winter model and the time series itself. Uh, so using Arima and all that, right? So therefore we will be exploring much more uh, other type like winter another type uh, in upcoming videos. So let's go and see the data set. So the data set you will find directly within mini tab. And this is the scenario. And a toothpaste retailer wishes to predict the sales of a certain brand of toothpaste using the sale data collected over the past 60 week. And they have, they also collect the information on the number of their toothpaste commercial broadcasted during that prime time per week. They want to use Arima for fitted the model and prediction of the sales data. And this is the data we are going to do it directly mini tab. And let's see directly we will explore in mini tab. So go to file and you can go to open worksheet. And here you can type toothpaste you will find both and this has only sales data but this has the other commercial data also as well so just have a click give okay so there are two columns will pop up so now you can see one is a sales one how much commercial been done right and we are gonna do the prediction analysis and to do that you can go to stat and time series uh, part of the time series and you have a time series plot uh, this will give directly the spread of your data whether it's seasonal and uh, trend and all that but we are interested in arima fit a model with the auto uh, regressive difference and moving average component to fit arima model you must understand the auto correlation and partial auto correlation both uh, and structure of your data one and let's go ahead and I'm going to do that. So this is uh, the sales and the fit model. I'm going to have for some data like seasonal data for six. And you can see here. Uh, so this is even if, if you're assuming that this is a non seasonal because we have already seen that it is not correlated. We'll see that what is correlations and all that. Let's say if I give <laughs> difference is one and moving average is two and you can go to forecast and then you can give generate how much you want for example let's say 10 leads we want 10 forecasts we want and uh, of that what you want so from the commercial example right you can give okay you can give okay so this is the data it has come up and but what we can do is we can also ask for the graph also as well let's say we want graph you can give okay you can give okay Okay, so this is the over a, over a time. So this is a sales data you can see here and whatever the data is there here, the same data it has uh, populated, right? And you can see, I will go to the data set. The very first data what we have is that 102 and uh, the last data what we have is 99, right? So all that it is already there, right? So you can see control. I mean, I'm just going to graph. You will find it here. And then it is also predicting that the between that value, it is also predicting this is the uh, value will get it. For example, you will get. You will get somewhere here like uh, low uh, focus is 100, lower 94 and 104. So 194 to 105 in the me median range, the, uh, the median is uh, 100, right? So that's what you will. Uh, get it right and give control E to go back to the previous one. You can give control E. Let's say you want to do the reverse, right? Commercial you wanted to do and then you wanted to predict the sales, right? Now we are doing it reverse, right? And again, we're gonna generate for 10 leads. So let's see that. So now if you see here, uh, so this is the commercial how much being spent and then you see here so this over period of time, so how it will be like how much uh, sales it will be there. So both the ways we can easily predict it, right? And and then you if you want like only one, 
for example, you don't want the sales and you can just predict here. So you can also do that, right? So you can also predict either one variable or two variable by changing it or you can also do it together, right? So what you can do, you can go to editor and you can ask for layout. In the layout, you can just give here. So this is the time series for commercials and this is a time series for sales and I'm gonna give finish. So it has come both the things it has come, right? So we can using the sales, we can sales, we can predict the sales, uh, we can predict the commercials and all that. So this is, isn't it very interesting? So you can also go to uh, right click and you can go to the previous graph. Right, so I mean, I'm just going to the previous graph. Let's say you can right click here and go to stat, stat guide and you will find uh, the examples which we discussed, right? So Arima displays a time series plot of the data. When you use Arima focus sub dialog box to generate the focus, many type displays uh, the focus and you will get the 95 percentage confidence. And what is a stationary? Stationary is something in the statistic, you know, that is when you have uh, mean and variance and auto correlation, which is uh, not constant, you can use it. So you can here, here you can find the tiny definition also as well. Stationary time series has a mean, as I said, variance and auto correlation function that are essentially constant through time, right? And when you can do that, two two things: examine a time series uh, to plot to see if they exhibit different various uh, vari variations in the data. And, and then you can also do it, uh, examine time to see if the data are not concentrated around the mean, right? So in such cases. So in this case, uh, why, uh, this is the same example which we talked about now. And uh, in this case, what we are saying is that interpretation, the sales data. So this is the sales data, actual data. Uh, seems not to violate the extension assumption. Therefore, ARIMA model can be fitted. The focus, this is a focus one, the red one and are determined using the fitted model and are displayed together with the 95 percentage confidence. This is lower limit, this is upper limit, right? So this is easily, you can find it out, uh, the ARIMA asset. So, and for furthermore, uh, if we see that why you know, we are going for ARIMA, why we can just go directly to uh, scatter and then find it out, right? Let's check the reason why we have not go gone for scatter regression. Go to stat, and you can go to regression and in the regressions if you see a fitted one and le let's say the sales is the output and input is a commercial and then you can gonna go with the linear model and you can find that this is not at all correlation right even if you are spending that 100.2 you will spend the same like sales right the commercial and sales are not correlated so therefore will not be able to predict it using this data because R square is very, very bad, right? So therefore, uh, the best thing to do is that uh, you can just go to this one. As you can see, the p-value also greater than 0 0.05. So that means this is not uh, strongly correlated. So therefore, uh, you can just uh, uh, rely upon the ARIMA in order to manage your data, even if your data is not uh, correlated, right? I hope you find this uh, video very useful. Please do like, share, subscribe my channel. You have wonderful day ahead.